what's going on guys welcome back to another video on the channel today i'm going to be going over a new way to host a discord bot instead of replit with scratch for discord so if you're new to the channel you might not know what scratch for discord is it's a software that lets you code a discord bot without actual coding it's just drag and drop blocks and a bot can do mostly anything that a normal bot can do and it's super easy to host it on replit and with this new way it's even easier so if you want to get started you can watch the first and second video but this is a new way to host so you can also watch this video too to get to have a new way to host it shout out to this person too joestrenade1 because he wanted a shout out and he's also the person who created most previews he created 437 and he created most of this new preview too 456 and 455 uh 453 like mostly all of the previews but another mr rito another person he created some of it too so let's get into the video so make sure your strat server is set to 456 there is a new, there is a new preview you can watch the last video to go over the features but the last video the preview name was a little different the url was a little different but the url got updated this is basically the same exact thing the only thing that's different is there's no json request i don't know why there's no json request i guess it there um it wasn't able to be with the new hosting and there's a new type of hosting so you don't have to use replit anymore and i asked the person who created this new hosting and that they said that in their opinion it's easier than replit so the workspace basically looks the same as the one in the last video it's just the new dark mode and these new categories so in here you can just code your bot like normal i'm just gonna do some examples so i'm just gonna do a ping pong command and a command handler i'll just do a music box example too because why not so when you're done pr programming your bot in this workspace make sure this per this block has your bot token in it to see your bot token you go to discord developer portal discord.com slash developers and go to applications and go to whatever you bot you want so i'm going to be using the scratch bot on the side make sure you're in the bot category and click copy token and make sure you don't reveal this to anyone um, i'm revealing it here because i kind of have to but i will regenerate it after the video because if someone gets your token they can just uh, do anything to your bot they can program your bot there's actually also ways to like log into a discord bot and you can do anything almost anything a normal user can do so paste it in here and then once you're done programming completely you enter your token in and you have all of the code that you want press this download button and some people have been saying that this download button is grayed out so that means that you're having some type of errors so if you have a like if i do when a member joins a server if i do reply it's gonna have this exclamation mark it's gonna say this block may only be used when a message is received event but i uh, some usually yeah it's grayed out yeah so so but if i remove this well if i delete this then it comes back again so make sure you have nothing like that you have no exclamation marks on it and it also can't just be lying around in the workspace if i duplicate this if i just have something lying around not being used then it doesn't let me either and then when i delete this it comes back and same thing with this because this is required to connect to your bot if you delete this it's go it goes away so make sure you have no exclamation marks you have nothing lying around in the workspace and you have the connect to discord so once you did all that click download click download again and then you can just go to your downloads or wherever you want to save it so this way of hosting is a little different you have to go to add a server and then there's going to be an invite link in the description so you go to add a server the plus sign click join a server and click join server this is going to take you to a server called scratch for discord host so it's kind of in another language but that's fine oh people are already welcoming me that's really fast so in here you have to do a command do exclamation mark up so you can do it just in general exclamation mark up and then it's gonna add a channel over here it's gonna create a channel that's only visible for you so this is in german i don't or another yeah then it's translated send the dot zip from your bot so you can 
just send the .zip here. So select the .zip file that from S4D and click upload. And then when it asks this, what is the JS file from your bot? You have to do here bot.js, so just type in bot.js and press enter. And what is your bot ID? You have to go to Discord developer portal again. And over here, go to OAuth2 and copy the client ID. And then just paste it in over there. And then it's just checking everything. So I can successfully check the .zip file. Successfully check this. And then soon the channel is going to be deleted. So over here there were a few errors. I was getting a few errors. I actually did something wrong. So I usually do this with all my bots. But with this test bot I haven't. So if you go to Discord developer portal. I will show this later. But if you go to Discord developer portal. You have to enable two options. Which I will show later called intents so if you don't have the intents on in the discord developer portal then it will not work so make sure you have those intents on which i will show soon and this hosting is also in beta so don't expect everything to work and as you can see the scratch for discord bot is online and i had a few errors make sure in your Dis discord developer portal you go to bot you have these two options on presence intents and server members intent or else if you don't have any of these on or if you don't have either of these on then it won't be online and it won't work so we can test the commands that we did it was the ping example so this exclamation mark ping it replies pong and we also did say so exclamation mark say hi and this is the default example and also make sure to join my discord server if you have any questions if it's not, if anything's not working for you you can also self promote your bot and that's pretty much it for today's video i hope you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one